I used to be a good looking guy. We were 14 years old. Mm -hmm. She said, when I was 14 years old, it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I had every pedophile on the block. I had. <laughs> <laughs> Ecuador. Yeah. Ecuador. Let's hear for Ecuador. products. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I had a roommate when I was in college from Ecuador. He was very, very dependable. <laughs> How about you guys? What's your story? What's going on with you guys? Uh, we're visiting, visiting from Charlotte. From Charlotte, North Carolina, huh? Yeah. I have a Charlotte, North Carolina story. It's great. I mean, when you do this long enough, you have all anecdotes and stories stolen from other comics that you pass <laughs> over. How are you guys over here? Well, well, good. Are you a family? We're a family. Okay. Yeah, you seem thrilled about that. <laughs> great. And how old are you? I'm 19. 19? You're going to college? Yeah. Oh, what a dumb move. <laughs> Where are you going to college? Cottonelle University. Cottonelle? There's a bunch of homos over there. Are you, <laughs> are you in the arts department? No. You're stupid! What's wrong with you? That's good. Well, what do you study? Um, finance. Finance? Like, now you're just an asshole. No. <laughs> That's smart. That's very good. That's very good. Um, I come from basically an anti-education background. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my mother and father from the depression. Father never even graduated high school. And uh, I'm actually the first person in my family to ever graduate college, Rutgers College, 1990. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Please, please, I was supposed to graduate in 88. <laughs> but I, I screwed up, I screwed up. I, I got a degree in history, which is basically the uh, participation award. <laughs> you guys like reality shows? No. <laughs> Ger Germany, let me explain reality shows. This is, this is great. How, explaining reality shows to people in Germany. What we have devolved in in the United States is hit television shows about people like delivering the mail or wiping the floor down. That's what people want to watch. It is crazy. And I am addicted to these damn shows. I am addicted. I watch all of them. They are just fantastic. Um, it's getting to the point now where. I'm starting to look like like a reality show lumberjack or like a pawn shop owner or something. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm by Madison Square Park last week and this old woman. Excuse me, excuse, aren't you the guy from Pawn Stars? <laughs> I'm, I'm like. <laughs> I was watching one last night, Storage Wars. You ever hear Storage Wars? <laughs> Germany, I'll explain. <laughs> you've, come, you've come to the epicenter of culture in the world. <laughs> storage Wars is a reality show where when people have storage units to put their extra shit in, and they don't pay the bill, they auction off the belongings. Um. And all these sad sack weirdos go and buy people's garbage, basically, in the hopes Someone left a ring worth a thousand dollars inside it. It is fantastic to watch. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic to watch. But I don't care about that. It's the fights. And just the other night I'm watching it, the auctioneer in Storage Wars just went nuts. Got in a big fight and just started telling everybody off. He was like, well, I never liked it. I never liked you anyway. You still owe me money. 10 dollars 20 30 40 Oh, Mr. Bossman thinks he knows it all. You said he didn't know. I was banging your wife. That's right. Banging your wife. 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 Ban